gosh, we live in a beautiful place. I love being in the middle of nowhere. We're going nowhere. Oh, look at that beautiful gala. Hi everybody, my name is Flossie and I live in a 1999 Utility Master Ford step van, which I have recently finished converting. This episode is really about building, building relationship, building trust. If you live in a van or live in a vehicle of any kind, especially ones that are older. Now I've come from a 1977 van so my level of trust in vehicles is probably lower than most being on the road for many days uh, especially when you're going out of cell phone reception and out away from mechanics shops uh, all of that kind of stuff definitely important to know that you can trust your vehicle can you not love roads like this? A new day, a new backyard! Bye! It was so nice to see you again! Oh, what a day! I'm at a beach in Nanaimo and just finished filming a van tour. Leave the step van here. I'm gonna go for a little walk. The idea is to go over there. So I only have to ford this small stream because the, the tide is completely out right now. I have good boots on, so I should better do it. Go explore this island. Oh, they're beautiful. Beautiful Gary Oaks. Beautiful flowers. I wonder if these are chemists. wander across to a little island and then go for a little stroll looking out at the ocean oh it's freaking amazing There'd be some amazing diving all out around here. Oh, another moment of Flossie wishing they had their wetsuit, but oh well, can't always go for a swim.
a little thirsty now, so I should get a drink and then head back on the road. Also, I bumped into a subscriber while here and it was very cute. It was so nice to see people, you know. If you see me out and about, do say hi. <sighs> it kind of makes the whole internet online thing a bit more real when you see people in, pe in person. If I see Look how tidy everything is post tour. You know, you do everything up to look all nice. Make everything all pretty. Yay! I've been researching where to find the user manual for my van and Utilimaster, because this is a Utilimaster Ford, not a Grumman and they have their user manuals online from 1996 to 2000 and something so it should be one of those I just got to figure out which step van it is I think it's a curbside van and make sure it all matches up I'm gonna look up the VIN number and check and then I can order my user manual and then we can figure out where the starter relay is to replace it and then I won't have to do that anymore yay <laughs> this is my highly amusing kitchen setup because the propane the propane hasn't been plumbed yet for the oven I'm using a camp stove and my pots to heat water and stuff like that working brilliantly I only can use one pan at a time but I've also been doing a heap of cooking on the wood stove so what are you gonna do about it we have a simple hot chocolate today some mint hot chocolate some turmeric honey and some almond milk so something so warm and soothing sometimes I will make a hot chocolate by making tea first and then putting it in the hot water after I take the tea bag out and the tea will be like a Bengal spice or a chai so you get a, a non-caffeinated chai so you get the spiciness and then you put the chocolate on top and then put the turmeric honey oh it's so good Filming for other people takes a lot more effort <laughs> to prepare for and uh, mental gymnastics to remember to say the right thing, <laughs> to try and articulate your words well. Oh my gosh, the joys of recording your camera yourself, you're by yourself, you just rattle on. You're not actually thinking so much in depth about what you're saying when you're recording for other people. There feels like somehow so much more pressure. Mm. It's done now and it went well. middle of a 50 kilometer stretch of no cell phone reception but look at that water wow it is just like glass oh my god there's sirens 
We're taking on an adventure to the west coast. The west coast of the island. I want to see some more waves. Oh, isn't this beautiful? I love a good logging road. This one just happens to be paved in this particular section. It's just gorgeous. Just gorgeous! Yay! I love being in the middle of nowhere! We're going nowhere! Slowly! What you can see me foraging for here are dug fir tips. In this time of spring, the dug firs sprout all their new leaf growth and it is bright, bright, vibrant green. Just a note, if you're in the UK, be very careful you can identify a dug fir tree instead of a yew tree, because yew trees are deadly poisonous. Dug fir tips have a lemony scent, can be used for flavoring, teas, dried, syrups. I haven't yet finished drying mine so I'll show you these again in an upcoming video. Look, there's another outer flower tree, bush, shrubbery. <laughs> okay, time to get back on the road. Look, it's wild sweet pea flowers. Isn't they gorgeous? There's a little baby crow up there. It is very noisy. Oh, hi. You're very noisy. I hope you're enjoying the video so far. I wanted to quickly interrupt for just a second. Huge thank you to my Patreons who make all of this possible. I am so grateful for all of your support, both you as a viewer watching these videos and for those who've reached out personally. You make this worthwhile. Like, I never thought that community building and sharing like this, A, was possible for me, or would bring me such joy and such joy to others as well. A big shout out to you all. You know who you are. Yeah. 
I, I love the steel and the metal. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, it's just mm. it's the workmanship, right? I mean, it's like the piece of. I want to still. I really want to still. Just a ladder. Like lemonade. Yeah. Okay, you can't have any of this one. Keep it in your fridge, keep it chilled, put it on some ice, mm -hmm. sit in the sun. Get one of these tripods for them. Beachside cocktail hour. please hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button no yes subscribe and thumbs up button and the notification bell and you will never miss an episode right let's get started oh before I start the noise you can hear is dinner cooking I have some eggplant and some potatoes and the fire is on so I've got some rhubarb from my garden some cherry blossoms I picked yesterday some maple blossoms and a lime. I think this combination will make such a tasty jammy thing. Rhubarb, cherry blossom and maple blossom. The maple blossoms will give it a little ginger, the cherry blossoms will just be yummy yummy cherry blossoms and the rhubarb and lime is just a great flavour combo. I'm excited! make me so happy look how pretty this is magnolia blossoms cherry blossoms and rhubarb I'm 
probably about a cup. Maybe just less than that. <gasps> Look at that sparkly, crystally, sugary, delicious mess. Ha <laughs> ha Let the magic begin! The last ingredient is to put some pectin in. So here's half a packet I've used before. Now, most jam recipes encourage you to measure it. I'm gonna put that much in. Oh, look at that beautiful gala. Wow, so gorgeous. It smells amazing. <sighs> Yum. <laughs> delicious breakfast oats with poached pears and my rhubarb and spring flowers on top oh and cheers it's our chocolate time mm. yum 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 I'm gonna reduce the rhubarb spring flowers mixture a little more and can it into smaller jars but for now I'm just putting it on top of my breakfast and it's good. Mm. Mm. It's like a more complex flavor of stewed rhubarb. It's very very nice. Yay! I hope you get to the very end. Wow! Very very high tide. There'll be no toe dipping this morning. Sunshine. It's a glorious day outside. <sighs> How amazing when you can just pull up and this is the view. So amazing. I just wanted to say thanks for coming along with me. It's been so nice to actually start doing some adventures together in Siren and going places and visiting some locations that I've never been before. The West, more of the West Coast. Uh, the wild waves just really draw me in. So if you're enjoyed following along with me, please comment below your favorite piece, your favorite location, your favorite thing that we went to see together. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and the thumbs up if you liked it. 
And if you want to see more videos like this, we've got some recommended videos in the corners. Uh, if you're watching on a laptop, or it will come up with the next play next video. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.